Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. We made it to day 10 of the clean, organize and declutter challenge. Today I'm starting in the office and I left this footage in real time. So that you can see it took me about a minute or so to have this room completely fixed and be out of here. And you'll notice that the rest of the video is not as sped up as they usually are because I have mainly filmed, well, only filmed the daily routine and that is definitely getting easier and quicker to complete every day. And the sofa is still very sad looking because I'm waiting for the pillow covers to dry. And because I picked this chair to go to the living room, the next room I will do is the living room. The reason why I started with the office today is because Nick had to come and work. I'm just showing you this little, it's an inhaler stick, it smells really nice, but it helps with anxiety, it's all natural. And I'm just taking it back to the medicine cabinet. I had shown you in previous videos that my daughter uses uh, the same one, but with lavender is for sleeping time and she uses it every single night. Then in the living room, I just fixed that little play area a little bit and now I'm taking all of these crocs back to the garden. I had to put some of the school shoes away because Bibiana was looking for her more summery school shoes. Turned out they don't fit her anymore because she's got more of a closed winter issues she was wearing until now now i'm just taking all the ipads away putting everything that doesn't belong in here there were some tissues that i had to take to the bin and this little basket my regular viewers know it's for all of the kids hair stuff that they use in the morning when they're getting ready for school now i'm just sorting out the pillows on the sofa and I have to take the pyjamas upstairs and because I'm taking the pyjamas straight to their bedroom I'm taking the tripod with me and that's the next room that I'll tackle. And because I was just taking the brushes away um, I'll mention here that today's organizing task is cleaning hair brushes and combs and hair tools and organizing hair clips, ties, bobby pins. A lot of our hair stuff are in my bedroom and it's at the moment impossible for me to try and clean and organize them and when it comes to our brushes because we use this plastic dango teasers and they don't have any hair stuck in them and we use them in the showers as well because they're for wet and dry hair and they get quickly washed so i completely skip the organizing task and the cleaning task for today is the grout in the bathrooms but it was just day nine when we scrubbed the bathroom tiles i don't know how people clean their bathroom tiles but when i clean tiles i clean the grout as well and because we've been cleaning our bathrooms every day for the last 10 days my grout was as close to perfect as it gets so i skipped that part of today's tasks as well so there was no cleaning task no organizing task just the daily routine and that was a nice quick monday morning for me because i actually had meetings in the afternoon and it would have been really busy to try and film everything and edit and do the voiceover and even though this video is very mundane and you've been seeing me doing the same thing for the last 10 days i hope it still gives you a bit of motivation to go and repeat the maintenance routine in your own homes it does help and it does keep the space clean i will do a video of the pros and cons at the book at the end i don't want to judge it just yet because i'm only one third of the way in there are still 20 more days to go but so far i would say that it's not exactly perfect there are things that could possibly be improved but as i said it's only been 10 days i don't want to judge it just yet i'll just give an example here because i'm cleaning the toilet scrubbing the bowl wiping the outside of the toilet and cleaning the floor has only been mentioned once in the 10 days and it's not 
supposed to be repeated again until tomorrow, which is day 11. The only thing that's supposed to be done every day is wiping the actual toilet seat and whatever flushing handle or button you have. So I do a little bit more, but that's because I have small kids and I don't trust them. And people who live with boys who are not as house trained as mine and sometimes miss the aim, by now I would expect them to have some sticky, not very pleasant surprises. And I did clean the downstairs toilet as well. I just couldn't film because Nick was in the shower. Now I'm just fixing the dining room and the kitchen, just empty the dishwasher and reloading some things for breakfast. And um, the dining room, the dining table is actually something else that has never been mentioned in the book once. And I know that dining tables are the ultimate dumping ground for most people so I definitely think that that should have been included and that's why I do mine daily we eat on there every day and it does get cluttered so I've just included it myself and I have this bowl in the sink um, because I've started the fly lady baby steps and she advises you to have a bowl or something to use as a dish disposal where you can put all of the dirty dishes until they get washed. Um, I got mine from Amazon but I think it's too small. I don't think it can hold that many dirty dishes especially if I put a pot or something in there it would definitely not be very useful but the idea is that it keeps your sink clean it doesn't stain. Um, you're not even supposed to be keeping it in the sink but in the unit under the sink uh, but i don't have space in there so i'm skipping that thank you so much for sticking with me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye